Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, if you are uh, facing Windows sign-in uh, uh, problem, uh, the, the error message which says this sign-in option is disabled because of failed sign-in attempts or uh, repeated shutdowns. Uh, use a different uh, sign-in option or keep your device uh, uh, powered on for at least two hours and then try again. And what after two hours if you end up with the same message, what will you do? So stick around in this video. I will show you uh, how to solve this problem uh, almost less than two minutes. Uh, my name is Mazhar and um, Right Solutions, I create tutorial for all you DIY people. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification for my next video. Now, without any further ado, let's head to the computer and uh, solve this problem here. As it says uh, uh, that uh, sign-in uh, is disabled because of uh, failed attempts and uh, repeated shutdowns. In my case, this has not happened because uh, I did not use this laptop for almost three, three or four months possibly. Now I just needed something and I just tried to switch it on and I just come across uh, with this uh, problem. I have no repeated failed attempts. I did not have repeated power shutdowns. Uh, what is possible, maybe my battery was totally drained and it had just uh, affected something and which is uh, in with this uh, uh, problem here so uh, let's uh, go and uh, solve it uh, it's very simple just uh, uh, go down here on the right uh, side here and you can just see uh, there is a power button so just uh, click on this uh, power button here and uh, you will see three options uh, restart shutdown and sleep so just uh, what we need to do is to just uh, put our uh, pc to sleep just cl uh, click on sleep here and your pc is gone to sleep so now what you do just uh, come and uh, just wait a couple of minutes a couple, a couple of seconds and then just uh, uh, press the power button again uh, a rule of thumb is about five seconds so just uh, uh, after five seconds just uh, try pressing the uh, power button again and it will uh, power up your laptop so now as you present with this uh, screen here again just don't enter the pin are uh, the password what you remember and you are sure that it is right uh, just to click on uh, forgot my pin here and it will present you with this uh, Microsoft sign-in dialog box and for those uh, who just uh, have uh, uh, sign-in only into their local machine so you can just skip 10-15 uh, seconds uh, to the next chapter in this video uh, but uh, if you are and most of the users who are when they are setting up their computer mostly they sign in with their Microsoft uh, uh, account as uh, I have done mine so what you will uh, do here it will uh, show you the email address which is the email uh, you had signed in uh, with your Microsoft account and it will ask you to, uh, your password so just key in your password and uh, uh, just click into sign in and now uh, because most of people uh, and most of the, uh, uh, the servers they are asking you to have uh, two-factor authentication so I have also done uh, uh, 2FA so uh, it will uh, present you with this dialog box uh, and will tell you where they are sending the authentication uh, uh, code here if you don't uh, want to get into email uh, you can just uh, look into this option which says uh, show more verification methods it will show you uh, all the possible uh, recovery uh, uh, methods but I will just uh, stick to the email option here so I'll uh, just uh, uh, click on to the email you can just do the uh, cell phone if you uh, prefer that but I'll go with the email so now uh, they are sending me the verification code uh, for um, uh, this login uh, they sign in uh, to the uh, to the email and I have it and now I am just key in here after key in the uh, code just uh, click on verify and now here it will present you with this dialog box. So uh, this is the second chapter uh, uh, which I mentioned. Uh, so if you have only a local uh, machine sign in, so you will uh, be presented with this option here. So here you got uh, option if you want to uh, reset your pin. So you can just click continue and reset it. And normally if you are sure that your pin is correct, so you don't need to. So just uh, uh, click on cancel and it will just uh, uh, go ahead and I will click, uh, click cancel here again too. So uh, you see that it is uh, getting me into my uh, my system here. So uh, you can see now oh, here we are. So you can just see that the power has uh, the windows had uh, uh, come up uh, live here. So you you just got in. I mean I believe it was it was not even two minutes. So uh, let's hope uh, this video was helpful for you. If you think this video helped you in any way, so just uh, don't forget to thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. I will see you with the next video and you have a great day.